It's day 40 something of the lockdown and we got a few restrictions lifted, so my boys got a corona haircut. For Max, it was his first haircut ever, so I was worried how he would take it. But like so often, he positively surprised us and we had some fun for a change. However, this fun morning took an interesting turn. So we rescued a street kitten today and I will bring it to the wet soon and then we will see what we're going to do with it. I mean, I would keep it, but I'm allergic. So that's unfortunately not an option, but she's cutie. She's a cutie. You're a cutie, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I have a little bit of chocolate on my mask, not good, but um, I'm at the wet right now. The kitten is inside already, they took it in, I have to wait outside because we still have circuit breaker and uh, the persons can only go in uh, one by one and as soon as the doctor is available I can see him or her and then I can discuss um, what are the next steps um, and we also already found um, a foster home. So it took some while because there was a um, French bulldog which seems to be an emergency. It was not breathing but it's stable now and I talked to the doctor about the kitten. Um, he confirmed it's a she. She's alright so far, a little bit dehydrated. Um, she will get um, something against that and she will be dewarmed. Um, we'll take a few minutes and then we will be on our way to the foster home. She's a little bit um, sassy because um, she got an injection of fluids because um, she's a little bit dehydrated. But um, I will take her to the foster now and then um, she will find a good home. I'm pretty sure about that. Now, Bibi, and I have a taxi. So. I'll send you off to your new home, to your yeah, foster home. They will, will take good care of you. Worshipped. And oh, um, yeah, it is. Oh. And then you will find a good new home. Hildi is short for Brunhilde after a German novel character to honor her somehow German roots. This is so lovely. She found her forever home after a few weeks and we are super grateful to Project Lunai who took her in when we couldn't. Knowing that she's in good hands, life could go on. Down to the water. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's sweet. And he's coming. Of course, he knows us. Singapore wildlife might be a big word, as this is only a very small extract of what we see when biking around during the corona lockdown. Besides otters, big and small lizards, we usually also see turtles, lots of different birds and even parrots. Can you believe it? By now it must be difficult not to know that there are hornbills living wild and free in Singapore. They have received plenty of newspaper coverage over the past years and can be seen in many places on the mainland and offshore islands. 
but there's much more to their story than you might think. These big birds grow up to 70 centimeters. Apparently, they were locally extinct and make a reappearance in the 1990s. However, they are still listed as critically endangered. I'm not that sure whether that one is that small. It's not it's huge. It's small and it's, um, the horn is um, small as well, so I would say it's a, um, it's a junior. On the go, in garden by the bay, and we just saw something. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye, Churchy. If you liked that video, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up.